Okay, welcome back to uh, June 2017, paper 3, question 16, all about scatter graphs and correlation. So we have this scatter graph showing the amount of rainfall and the number of visitors to a tourist attraction. Um, so we've got all these crosses showing some nice correlation, negative correlation, going down the scatter graph. Uh, but as you can see, there's one here that is not quite fitting. So part one says, circle the outlier on the scatter diagram. So an outlier is something that doesn't really fit in with the rest of the data. So that is clearly this extra uh, coordinate here. So that's our outlier. Then part two, so the owner claims he would expect around 320 visitors on a day with two millimeters of rainfall. So if we look on our chart, two millimeters of rainfall, 320, that would be about there. Okay, now I think we can see that although it's pretty much on the edge, it does just about fit in with the other crosses that we've got from the data given. So I think it's okay to say that it does fit in. Okay, so I would say yes, the scattered diagram does support this statement because this coordinate fits in with the other coordinates given or the other data given. So yes, because this coordinate fits with the other data. And then part three, explain why we should not use the scatter diagram uh, if there's nine millimeters of rainfall. So you can see here's nine millimeters of rainfall. There is no data at all. There's anything to do with nine millimeters of rainfall. So it's dangerous, therefore, to make an estimate based on data that we don't have. Okay. So um, I would be saying we have no data about nine millimeters of rainfall. I think that's enough information to say why we shouldn't be using the scatter diagram for that estimation. So annoying questions, we've got to write stuff, but still important marks to get.